mathematicians. In this video, we're going to discuss distributing the multiplication of a negative number over addition and subtraction. Um, as we've been doing before, to begin, um, let's check in to see what you already know. So pause me and try to simplify um, this expression. Now, don't forget, it's awesome to make mistakes or to not know how to do something yet. It's really our goal is to learn something new. So pause me, try it, and come back. Welcome back. Let me scroll down and we can look at the simplified version of this expression. So here it is. Um, here's the simplified version. If you simplify this correctly and you feel totally good to go, you're welcome to leave the video. In fact, you're welcome to leave at any point that you um, feel like you understand this as we go along. Um, otherwise, please feel free to stick around and we're going to simplify um, this one together. So let's scroll down and get a clean copy. There you go. All right, so we're distributing. And the big question that you need to know, think about first is, what number are we gonna multiply each of the terms in the parentheses by? Is that number four or is that number negative four? Such an important question, which one is it? Now, when I'm unsure, I always will take subtraction and write it as addition of the opposite. Once you're in addition, the sign of the number is really clear which way we go. So instead of subtracting four, I'm gonna add the opposite of four or add negative four times the quantity negative three X plus six. As soon as I write it like this, it's very clear that the number, the multiplication we're gonna be distributing over that addition is the multiplication by negative four. Let's go ahead and do that. 2x plus negative four times negative three x plus negative four times six. A few things to highlight here. Notice my operations did not change. They stayed the same. Here, and also I'm writing multiplication in two different ways. Here I'm writing multiplication using the dot notation. Here I'm writing, note, excuse me, writing multiplication using parentheses. Sometimes I use parentheses when I'm multiplying the second factor as a negative number, just to make sure we know we're multiplying and not subtracting. Both mean the same thing. Um, let's go ahead and do some arithmetic as we're simplifying. 2x plus negative 4 times negative 3 times x is positive 12x plus negative four times six is negative 24. Um, next step is, I'm gonna simplify, do two steps in one. I'm gonna combine my like term, and I'm also gonna handle simplifying this double sign right here. So that's equal to 14x, two plus 12, plus the negative is the same as subtracting the opposite, subtracting a positive, minus 24. And there's our fully simplified expression. All right, if you feel good to go, um, pop on out. Otherwise, if you want to stick around, I'm going to work through one more example. So if you'd like to see another example, um, feel free to stick around. Really just uh, mathematician's choice for you. So here is the next example. As we've been doing all along, pause me. Try it yourself. Let's see what you understand. And if you make an error, let's try to find and fix it. So pause me and simplify. Welcome back. Let's scroll down and see the fully simplified version. Ah, there it is. All right, so we get negative 12x plus 11. Now I'm gonna simplify it. And again, anytime you feel good to go, head on out. To be clear in my head, I wanna think about, am I multiplying six times everything in the parentheses or negative six? And to be sure, I'm gonna take the subtraction and write it as addition of the opposite. Addition will always tell me the true sign and put the sign with the number. So subtracting six of something is the same as adding negative six. So then we see the factor that we're gonna to distribute to both terms in the parentheses is negative six, not positive six. Let's go ahead and do that. Five plus negative six times two X minus negative six times one. Highlighting again that our operation does not change. These stay the same. 
let's do our arithmetic. 5 plus negative 6 times 2 times x. Negative 6 times 2 is negative 12. x minus negative 6 times 1 is negative 6. Um, I think the first thing I'm going to do is handle this double sign. 2 subtracting. Subtracting a negative, again, is the same as adding a positive. plus 6. Anytime you go back and forth between addition and subtraction, you are, have to ch take the number that's being added in subtraction and take its opposite. So here, subtracting to adding, you have to take the opposite of negative 6 and get positive 6. Finally, let's do our addition. We've got 5 plus 6. Since everything's in addition, we can do things in any order. And we're left with negative 12x plus 11. Mathematicians, I hope this video has helped you think about um, distributing negative numbers and how do you know what's a negative number you're multiplying the terms by. Please don't hesitate. If you have any questions, would like to think about this in a different way or work some problems together, please just ask me. All right. See you soon.